There's the odd burst of gunfire, so you remember exactly where you are in the world. This is where we start our journey. The island was hit by a couple of enormous cyclones and these dragon's blood trees that have been just ripped from the earth and strewn across the landscape. We learn a lot about a place through the things that are important to people. And on an island with a language that can't really be written, the oral traditions become absolutely crucial. So things like storytelling and poetry. I mean, what I'd love to do is come back with a team of specialists from here and from abroad and do a real health check of this special place. I've never been anywhere quite like this. I've always wanted to go to the Arctic, and now I have a chance. Being out in the open ocean, like any sailor, but like Lord Dufferin in this case, I'm going through days and days and days of these swells. I mean, it's, it's mad, it's absolutely wild. You have to have a certain constitution to want to and to be able to do this sort of thing. And she wrote him this letter. Remember, when I am gone, how much I loved you. You can repay me a thousandfold for the agony of your birth. The letters he wrote home became Letters from High Latitudes. And it's this book that will be my guide and companion for the adventure ahead. Just like Dufferin did, I'm going further north than I've ever been before, right to the top of the world. This is quite a severe change in environment. It's a real risk. What do I need to think about with potential polar bears around? On uh, Svalbard, they say that we have approximately uh, 3,000 polar bears. So that means that we have more polar bears than humans. So, Niels, I notice you have a rifle and the flare gun and all the experience. Yeah. What do I have? Well, you have me. <laughs> Here, in the heart of the Middle East, the Holy Land is one of the most complex places on Earth, but it is also one of the most fascinating. Behind me in here is the city of Nablus and the mountain of Gerizim. A few years ago, I was walking through this region and I heard the story of the ancient Israelite Samaritans living on top of that mountain. I am the high priest of the Samaritan. We are the oldest people in the world. All the world. How many of your friends of your sort of age have found someone already? My age. My age, no one. It's a really important thing. If you're a Samaritan, you want to know, are you going to marry a Samaritan or are you going to go outside? You know, you don't want to fall in love with a female from outside and in the end, hey, I'm a Samaritan. You have to become a Samaritan to, to marry me. I think Darwin would have absolutely loved our journey uh, because he was a horseman. They, I don't think he really liked sailing at all. His diaries are just full of him complaining about being seasick. And I think if he could have got his hands on a horse for this trip, he would have loved it. So I think we're probably living out Charles Darwin's dream here. I've got a couple of sketches. As you can see, there's a bit of artistic license. There's a, a mountain lion jumping off the top and a bit more of a jungle down at the bottom. And, few things added in, but it's pretty much just as it is now. What am I doing alone on a mountainside in central Jordan? I don't know if this is what I wanted. And what is it that I want when I go back? I want the, the unpredictability, but do I want to go back to stability and normality? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. So many landscapes, so many people, so much Arabic, so much culture, and it almost begins to get saturated. But just when I think that's happening, things reinvent themselves, and I end up somewhere new, and I'm in Sinai. What is it about walking that makes it an enjoyable mode of transport for you? The change of the nature, the beauty of every spot, and I like to use my body. This, this is why we're friends, Masala. <laughs> <laughs> we like the same things. Yeah. <laughs> and this thing has to stay on my arm, yeah? Yeah, for another three minutes, four minutes. It will stop the blood. 
I really wanted an aspirin. <laughs>